This okay. is really one of the highlights of mm. the Royal Library's Persian collections. Mm -hmm. And it's been in the Royal Library for over 200 years now, since it was chosen as a gift for Queen Victoria mm. by Kamran Shah, the mm. ruler of Herat in mm. Afghanistan. And he chose it from his library as a gift to Queen Victoria. Lucky like, like Queen Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what? I think he obviously um, knew that she wouldn't be able to read Persian, so he chose one of his books, which had loads and loads of amazing pictures in it. So it's just fantastic. It's got more than a hundred yes, of these indeed. amazing 17th century Absolutely Persian paintings. Incredible, aren't they? And the book is yeah. called the Shahnami, which translates as the Book of Kings. Mm. So it's quite an appropriate gift yeah. for him as one ruler yeah. to send to another ruler. Um, but what's interesting is that by about 60 years later, when Queen Victoria was mm. Empress of India, mm. she actually learnt Urdu, which is the same script as Persian. So oh, although when she was a young queen, she was like totally bemused by this mm. and she got the name wrong when she wrote it in her diary. She, it's called the Shahnami, mm. and she wrote, I've just received a book from the King of Herat and it's called the Book of Nami, which means the Book of the Book rather than the Book of Kings. Uh, well, so she completely got so it she wrong. Got slightly confused yeah. by the whole But thing. when she was in her you know, 70s and 80s and was learning Urdu, mm -hmm. that meant that she would actually be able to read this mm -hmm. in her later life because it's the same script. And so she would at least be able to vocalise the sounds and she would understand some of mm -hmm. the vocab. And when the Shah of Persia and some of the Indian princes came to Windsor Castle, she, she would always, it yeah, she would always bring out the yeah, Persian yeah. and Indian manuscripts. And yeah. um, you know, for the Shah of Persia, she would sign her name mm. in Persian mm. on photos to him and things like that. So he was quite impressed. That you know, but but I love all this. I mean, the illuminations yeah. are amazing. So, so every single page. So it's has all this is all borders. done literally in gold. Yeah, this is leaf. this is gold paint. Yeah, yeah well, um, sometimes yeah. gold leaf, sometimes yeah, gold paint. Right, but yeah. actually, for paint, you need more mm. ounces of gold to grind down mm. and mix into mm. paint than you would for gold leaf. So it's actually, you know, something like this would have not just taken hours and hours, but cost oh. so much. But you know, so, but you know, it's well, because it's just am I allowed to turn a page? Yes, because it's it just lasts so well, doesn't it? Well, I this mean, is the thing. It looks as if it's. All of these paintings, the exactly, colours. because they're yeah. all you know, preserved, mm. squished between the pages of the book, mm. the pigments are just like the day they were made. Dear, oh dear, they're not looking <laughs> too well there, <laughs> are they? This is the thing, there is yeah. something very, very funny going on. <laughs> There's a lot of um, rather yeah, deadish looking lots bodies. Lots of uh, people have to die, mm. sadly. <laughs> but this one that we were just looking at is quite funny because um, have you ever seen an equestrian cat before? No, so that is extremely white interesting. White riding a horse. Yes, the and, cat's um, having a very happy time. <laughs> this is Queen Gurdia, mm. who wants something from her husband. So she's thinking, okay, what, how, what can I do to charm my husband? Oh, I know, I'll teach a cat to ride, to ride. a horse. <laughs> and so she does. And he's so impressed, he asks, okay, what do you want in return? Mm. And she says, well, I want you to free one of your cities mm and give it back to the inhabitants and get rid of the evil governor. Mm. And so she's quite like clever <laughs> and so, he's so like, mm. and he's so impressed by it. the cat that he did it. And then there's a lot of celebration. So, I yeah, see a lot of a wine deal. being taken at the bottom. Yeah, these yes. amazing <laughs> wine bottles and these beautiful blue and white ceramics yes. are having a bit of a feast and these, these are quinces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which but I mean, the colours are so beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, you these know, ones are amazing, purples said, and they're, oranges. They're obviously the sort of natural colours sort of being ground down. Yeah, that's why exactly. they've lasted yeah. so. And they're, yeah, it's all natural pigments, but which also means they're all yeah. like light sensitive. Yeah. So if this was kept out of the book yeah. over the decades and centuries, the colours will fade. But because they're preserved in the book, they look so pristine. And you've got these amazing Safavid costumes to see with the... And even the sort of shapes of the, the you know, the vessels they're drinking out of are so beautiful and the decoration they put on them yeah. is so good. Yeah, really stunning. That and these amazing sort of wild mm. rocks and clouds in the background. The beginning is quite interesting because the frontispiece is... For most um, Shahnameh manuscripts, the frontispiece is all the same. It's um, Solomon with the Queen of Sheba. And um, let's see. It's actually a quite different scale. I think mm. that this painting was actually reused from an earlier manuscript because the artist who signed it is a generation older yeah. than the other artist in oh, this. And I you see, can see so. that it's like slightly more archaic, mm. these amazing 
birds and animals. Look at the birds. And so here's Solomon. um, And this is Bilkis in the Quran, but she's the queen of Shiva in the Bible. And Cameron Shah's wife, Zara, who sent this manuscript to Queen Victoria, actually wrote a letter to the young queen in which she calls Queen Victoria the Queen of Sheba of the West, which was a sort of link to this painting here. Exit, which is quite sweet. Absolutely incredible the detail, the animals. And, and so this is the Simurgh, this is mm. like the mythical bird mm. in the Shah Nami. So, with all the different birds and the and little donkey and yeah. white elephant. So these are all um, animals that feature throughout the stories mm. of the Shah Nami. Oh, God, if I could, as I said, I could sit and watch <laughs> that, look at it all day long.